Um, it's an exciting time to be an offensive player uh, for the Gators. Uh, it worked well for us during the spring. We, we learned a lot. We still have a lot to learn, but we got a really solid base, and uh, it's just it's a fun offense to play, and I think we can be real productive. Three systems in three years. Is it frustrating for the offense? Is it you guys just used to adjusting at this point? Yeah, I mean, just you have to go in knowing that in college football, there is going to be a lot of turnover, especially when excuse me, you don't have a year as, as successful as you would have liked. But um, I think we've handled it extremely well. We're, we can only do with we can only do as players what we can handle, and that's not something that we we can we can handle. So we've uh, I think we've we've done a good job of, of going with it. More emphasis on the shotgun. You feel comfortable with that? Yeah, very comfortable with it. Uh, I'm, we were almost exclusively out in the shotgun during the spring. Um, it's just something that that helps us uh, in our two back and in, in our quarterback run play. How, how you feel? How's your Oh, I'm feeling great. Uh, thanks for asking, by the way. Um, the, tra the training staff did an awesome job with me, getting me back to where I wanted to be. Um, there's no issues, and uh, I'm back to 100% full health. Along those lines, you weren't the only one in the rehab room, were you? No, I was loaded. What, what was last year like? Yeah, there's. Yeah, it's never good if there's a kind of a waiting line in the in the in that room. But um, I mean, it's tough to have all those guys go down, um, especially because you work all year long for the season, and um, it's just heartbreaking when you get a, a some good guys go down like that. But that's that's part of the game. Um, we held our heads up the whole time, and uh, we worked hard to get back. And um, I think everybody's 100 percent who got hurt, so I think we're good to go. I mean that's huge. Um, you just want to get the momentum rolling. You want to get comfortable. You want to be able to put in some plays that um, you want to put in some plays on film to kind of give them some wrinkles that they have to work with. Um, you know, maybe get some some guys that you might have to rely on later in the season, a chance to get some reps early. But um, it is going to be big. Just to, our first impression is going to be huge. Coach Muschamp said that this. More offensive talent and weaponry on this team than any he's had since he's been here. Do you see that? Absolutely. It starts with uh, starts up front. I think we have the best O line that we've had since I've been here. Um, a lot of talent. Um, our starting six, or not our starting six, but our first six guys have all gotten experience. They're all talented. They're all big. Um, you know, kind of our backup guys. They're they're all talented. They just haven't had the experience. So I think. Um, I think we're really looking good on on the offensive line at running back. We have a stable of them back there, uh, guys that are big, strong, quick, fast. Um, receivers have continued to to make strides. Um, make they made a lot of plays for me during the spring. And at tight end, we have uh, Clay Burton, um, Tevin Westbrook, and, and Jake McGee, a transfer from Virginia, who uh, who's picking up the offensive really well. And he's someone who can show, who showed that they can make plays in college football. So. I think that's kind of a good synopsis of the offense. Jeff, is this a 180 from the old offense, or how different? Absolutely, it's completely different as far as uh, scheme and, and philosophy. Um, we're pretty much spread. We're, we don't have a huddle. Um, we're up tempo, but um, I mean, at the same time, a football play is going to be a football play. So we have a lot of the same same scheme. It's just coming at you from a different. You know, different formations or different tempos, but uh, it's an offense that's fun, and it's an offense where you can really be productive and put up numbers and points. I don't think I'm. I mean, I was comfortable under center. I just think it's it's uh, the ability to to use your legs is huge. Um, it's something that the defense has to think about. It's something that they have to play for and prepare for. Um, I think I'm more comfortable because I'm. More experience. I've been around more, but uh, I was never uncomfortable under center. But I think I am more com more comfortable because of the ab ability to use my legs, and because I've been around longer. Coach Muschamp obviously came on the line. Was your great sense that you guys be playing for I mean, you can put that in the sense, but that's not that's not on the players' minds. We've never talked about that. Nobody's thinking about that. Um, Obviously, we're going to play hard for Coach Muschamp, but at the end of the day, we're not playing for his job. We're playing for the University of Florida. We're playing for our group of guys, and um, 
It's just not something that's in the back of our mind. But we are behind Coach Muschamp 100%. How much added pressure is there, even if it's not in the back of your mind? None. Just know it. None. Jeff, what's it like going against Vernon Hargreaves? Has, has he gotten you in, in practice and pick, picked you off a few times? Anything yeah, you recall? I mean, that, that happens in practice. I've gotten him a few times. He's gotten me a few times. That, that's just what happens in practice. He, he's a great player. Um, I know he's up for all kinds of awards, which he should be. Um, he's such a gifted athlete, and he's, he's, he's so smart on the field. He's, uh, he's one of the best corners, if not the best, in college football, and he's somebody who makes our – our receivers and myself better every day. He's just he's somebody that you're happy that he's on your side. Coach also mentioned that they'll probably he'll probably want to get one of your backups in fairly early like he did with you. Mm-hmm. Talk about those other guys behind you. Yeah, we got Skylar Morningleg. He's going into his uh, I think redshirt sophomore year. He had a really good spring. He picked it up. He picked it up really fast. Um, he made quick decisions. And we got uh, Will Greer. Um, he's a he's a young quarterback. Going to be a true freshman. Very talented, very highly recruited. Um, he put on, I think, 15 pounds since he's gotten to school. So he's somebody that uh, is going to be a, a good player for the Gators in the future. But yeah, we'd we'd like to get some leads early in these uh, in the first few games so we can get those some those guys some reps. I know coming from um, from myself, I didn't get too much time in my first few games, and then. When you kind of get put in the fire, it's not a position you want to be in. Jeff, a lot of good quarterbacks left this league. Is there more t- 